The square root of one minus x squared is a composite function. We have the square root on the outside with one minus x squared on the inside. So to take the derivative of this, we're going to need the chain rule, which I've provided here. It's also worth noting that y equals the square root of one minus x squared is the equation of the top half of a circle. So that's what we're finding the slopes of when we take this derivative. All right, so let's take the derivative of the square root of one minus x squared. The chain rule begins with f prime of g of x. That's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. Again, our outside function is the square root, but to take the derivative of that, it might be helpful to rewrite this as a power. The square root of one minus x squared is the same as one minus x squared to the one half power. Now let's take the derivative. Again, beginning with the derivative of the outside function, which in our case is that one half power. So we just apply the chain rule, bring that power out front, one half as a coefficient, leave the inside function unchanged, one minus x squared, and then reduce the power by one. So one half minus one is negative one half. Then just multiply by g prime. That's the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of one minus x squared, again by the power rule, is just minus two x. And if you care to simplify this, the two and the one half will cancel out, and we can write the negative half power as a square root in the denominator, leaving our final answer as negative x divided by the square root of one minus x squared. And that's the derivative of the square root of one minus x squared, which we could use to find the tangents to a semicircle. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises for more. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm a secular and aesthetic for